In this video I will show you how to assemble a modular microfluidic setup. A modular setup gives you all the flexibility you need. They do require more steps to assemble, but in this video I'll show you how it's done step by step. This is the modular droplet generator setup and this is what we will be working on today. The modularity of the system means you might have some other components than these, but this is a setup I like very much. Here you see a pressure control pump from Fluigent, fluid reservoirs, filters, the chip holder with the chip, and an emulsion reservoir. To start the assembly, click the different pumps together. Add the link module. Connect the power supply, the air pressure supply, and plug the tubing. Now take one of the fluids you will use, remove the lid and put on the lid that can be used with the pressure control pump. Different lids are available for different size reservoirs. Take the thinner tubing and cut it to pieces long enough to reach between components of your setup. Don't make them too long, because the pressure drops with each centimeter of tubing. To connect the tubing to the fluid reservoirs, string the correct parts on the tubing. Also pay attention to having them in the right direction. Now put your tubing in the fluid reservoir and let the tubing almost touch the bottom. Screw to make an airtight connection. The same can be done with the other reservoir. Connect the pressure controlled by the pump to your reservoirs. Up next is the chip holder. Let's open it. Take your droplet generator chip and investigate which holes should be connected. In this case, we have one inlet for the dispersed phase, going through the middle. The inlet above is for the continuous phase, going around it. And the formed droplets continue to this outlet. There are many different kinds of droplet generators. Make sure you check which holes should be connected for your specific chip. Now place the chip in the chip holder and connect the tubing to the right holes. Place a ferrule on the tubing. Close the chip holder and the tubing is sealed to the chip. To connect the filters to the tubing, string these parts on it. Screw the filter on it with the arrow pointing in the direction of the flow. The same components can be used to connect the filter to the rest of the setup. And the same can be done for the other channel. All that is left is to connect the outlet tubing to the place you want the finished droplets to go. Now the setup is completely assembled. It's time to turn it on. At this moment all tubing and channels are still filled with air. We could simply turn it on and wait for everything to fill, but it is faster to flush the tubing first. To flush, make sure your chip holder is open and turn on the pumps. Here you see how that goes in real time. If your inlet pressure is at the right level, all you need to do is turn the knob to start the flow. Some tubing has an inner diameter that is very small, making it hard to see your fluids go through. However, if you look carefully you might see it. After a few seconds or minutes, the fluids reach the holder and the droplet starts forming. Turn off the pump and try to remove the droplet without leaving small particles that could get stuck in the chip. 
flush all inlet channels. Close the holder again. And when you start the flow, droplets will be generated. By changing the flow rates or pressures of your two liquids, you can control how fast the droplets are produced and you can influence their size. As mentioned, this setup is modular and all components can be changed. These pressure control pumps are nice because the response of the system is much faster compared to syringe pumps. Also the droplet size and flow remain very constant. However, they are not the cheapest option. I also like this chip holder because it's very easy to work with. Now other chip holders are available as well if you're looking for a very small or light chip holder or you want to work at very high pressures. Now let's play around with some other components that could be used. Here you have our setup again. This is what it would look like if you add a flow meter. And removing can be done as quick as this. You can also remove one filter, or both of them. Ok, back to our original setup. Now let's exchange these pumps for syringe pumps. So there you have it, a modular and flexible setup for getting more control over your emulsions. Let us know if you have any questions and tell us about the experience you have with this setup. See you in the next video.